the law of one unabridged transcription of contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 47. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Questioner. Could you first give us an indication of the condition of the instrument? I am raw. It is as previously stated. Questioner, okay. The question that I was trying to ask at the end of the last session was, of what value to evolution or experience in the creator knowing himself are the positive and negative social memory complexes that form starting in fourth density, and why was this planned by the logos? I am raw. There are inherent incorrectnesses in your query. However, we may answer the main point of it. The incorrectness lies in the consideration that social memory complexes were planned by the logos or sub-logos. This is incorrect, as the unity of the creator exists within the smallest portion of any material created by love, much less in a self-aware being. However, the distortion of free will causes the social memory complex to appear as a possibility at a certain stage of evolution of mind. The purpose or consideration which causes entities to form such complexes, of these social memory complexes, is a very simple extension of the basic distortion towards the creator's knowing of itself, for when a group of mind-body spirits become able to form a social memory complex, all experience of each entity is available to the whole of the complex. Thus the creator knows more of its creation in each entity partaking of this communion of entities. Questioner, we chose the values of all you were given the values of better than 50% service to others for fourth density positive and better than 95% service to self for fourth density negative social memory complexes. Do these two values correspond to the same rate? Shall I say, of vibration? I am raw. I perceive you have difficulty in expressing your query. We shall respond in an attempt to clarify your query. The vibratory rates are not to be understood as the same in positive and negative orientations. They are to be understood as having the power to accept and work with intelligent infinity to a certain degree or intensity. Due to the fact that the primary color, shall we say, or energy blue is missing from the negatively oriented system of power. The green-blue vibratory energies are not seen in the vibratory schedules or patterns of negative fourth and fifth rates of vibration. The positive, upon the other hand, shall we say, has the full spectrum of true color time-space vibratory patterns and thus contains a variant vibratory pattern or schedule. Each is capable of doing fourth density work. This is the criterion for harvest. Questioner, did you say that blue was missing from fourth density negative? I am raw. Let us clarify further. As we have previously stated, all beings have the potential for all possible vibratory rates. Thus the potential of the green and blue energy center activation is, of course, precisely where it must be in a creation of love. However, the negatively polarized entity will have achieved harvest due to extremely efficient use of red and yellow-orange, moving directly to the gateway indigo bringing through this intelligent energy channel the in-streamings of intelligent infinity. Questioner, then at fourth density graduation into fifth is there anything like the percentages you gave for third density graduation into fourth for polarization? I am raw. There are, in your modes of thinking, responses we can make, which we shall make. However, the important point is that the graduations from density to density do occur. The positive-negative polarity is a thing which will, at the sixth level, simply become history. Therefore, we speak in an illusory time continuum when we discuss statistics of positive versus negative harvest into fifth. A large percentage of fourth density negative entities continue the negative path from fourth to fifth density experience, for without wisdom the compassion and desire to aid other self is not extremely well informed. Thus though one loses approximately 2% moving from negative to positive during the fourth density experience we find approximately 8% of graduations into fifth density those of the negative. Questioner, well, what I was actually asking was if 50% is required for graduation from third to fourth in the positive sense, 95% is required for graduation in the negative sense. Does this have to more closely approach 100% in both cases for graduation from 4th to 5th? Does an entity have to be 99% polarized for negative and maybe 80% polarized for positive graduation from 4th to 5th? 
I am wrong, we perceive the query now, to give this in your terms is misleading, for there are, shall we say, visual aids or training aids available in fourth density which automatically aid the entity in polarization while cutting down extremely upon the quick effect of catalyst. Thus the density above yours must take up more space-time. The percentage of service to others of positively oriented entities will harmoniously approach 98% in intention. The qualifications for fifth density, however, involve understanding. This then, becomes the primary qualification for graduation from fourth to fifth density. To achieve this graduation the entity must be able to understand the actions, the movements, and the dance. There is no percentage describable which measures this understanding. It is a measure of efficiency of perception. It may be measured by light. The ability to love, accept, and use a certain intensity of light thus creates the requirement for both positive and negative fourth to fifth harvesting. Questioner, can you define what you mean by a crystallized entity? I am raw. We have used this particular term because it has a fairly precise meaning in your language. When a crystalline structure is formed of your physical material the elements present in each molecule are bonded in a regularized fashion with the elements in each other molecule. Thus the structure is regular and, when fully and perfectly crystallized has certain properties. It will not splinter or break. It is very strong without effort. And it is radiant, traducing light into a beautiful refraction giving pleasure of the eye to many. Questioner, in our esoteric literature numerous bodies are listed. I have here a list of the physical body, the etheric, the emotional, the astral, and the mental. Can you tell me if this listing is the proper number, and can you tell me the uses and purposes and effects, etc.? of each of these or any other bodies that may be in our mind-body-spirit complex. I am raw. To answer your query fully would be the work of many sessions such as this one, for the interrelationships of the various bodies and each body's effects and various situations is an enormous study. However, we shall begin by referring your minds back to the spectrum of true colors and the usage of this understanding in grasping the various densities of your octave. We have the number 7 repeated from the macrocosm to the microcosm in structure and experience. Therefore, it would only be expected that there would be 7 basic bodies which we would perhaps be most lucid by stating as red ray body, etc. However, we are aware that you wish to correspond these bodies mentioned with the color rays. This will be confusing, for various teachers have offered their teach learning understanding in various terms. Thus one may name a subtle body one thing and another find a different name. The red ray body is your chemical body. However, it is not the body which you have as clothing in the physical. It is the unconstructed material of the body, the elemental body without form. This basic unformed material body is important to understand for there are healings which may be carried out by the simple understanding of the elements present in the physical vehicle. The orange ray body is the physical body complex. This body complex is still not the body you inhabit but rather the body formed without self-awareness, the body in the womb before the spirit mind complex enters. This body may live without the inhabitation of the mind and spirit complexes. However, it seldom does so. The yellow ray body is your physical vehicle which you know of at this time and in which you experience catalyst. This body has the mind-body-spirit characteristics and is equal to the physical illusion, as you have called it. The green ray body is that body which may be seen in seance when what you call ectoplasm is furnished. This is a lighter body packed more densely with life. You may call this the astral body following some other teachings. Others have called this same body the etheric body. However, this is not correct in the sense that the etheric body is that body of gateway wherein intelligent energy is able to mold the mind-body-spirit complex. The light body or blue ray body may be called the Devashanic body. There are many other names for this body especially in your so-called Indian sutras or writings. For there are those among these peoples which have explored these regions and understand the various types of Devashanic bodies. There are many, many types of bodies in each density, much like your own. The indigo ray body which we choose to call the etheric body is, as we have said, the gateway body. In this body form a substance and you may only see this body as that of light as it may mold itself as it desires. The violet ray body may perhaps be understood as what you might call the Buddha body or that body which is complete. Each of these bodies has an effect upon your mind-body-spirit complex in your life beingness. The interrelationships, as we have said, are many and complex. Perhaps one suggestion that may be indicated is this. 
the indigo ray body may be used by the healer once the healer becomes able to place its consciousness in this etheric state. The violet ray or budhuk body is of equal efficacy to the healer for within it lies a sense of wholeness which is extremely close to unity with all that there is. These bodies are part of each entity and the proper use of them and understanding of them is, though far advanced from the standpoint of third density harvest, nevertheless useful to the adept. Questioner, which bodies do we have immediately after physical death from this yellow ray body that I now inhabit? I am raw. You have all bodies and potentiation. Questioner, then the yellow ray body and potentiation is used to create the chemical arrangement that I have as a physical body now. Is this correct? I am raw. This is incorrect only in that in your present incarnation the yellow ray body is not in potentiation but in activation, it being that body which is manifest. Questioner, then? After death from this incarnation we still have the yellow ray body in potentiation, but then is, perhaps, say in the general case of our planetary population after death, would they then normally have the green ray body manifested? I am raw. Not immediately. The first body which activates itself upon death is the form maker or the indigo ray body. This body remains you have called it the car until etheria has been penetrated and understanding has been gained by the mind body spirit totality. Once this is achieved, if the proper body to be activated is green ray, then this will occur. Questioner, let me make a statement and see if I am correct. After death then, if an entity is unaware, he may become what is called an earthbound spirit until he is able to achieve the required awareness for activation of one of the bodies. And it would be possible then to activate any of the bodies with this go all the way from red through violet. I am raw. Given the proper stimulus, this is correct. Questioner, what stimulus would create what we call an earthbound spirit or a lingering ghost? I am raw. The stimulus for this is the faculty of the will. If the will of yellow ray mind body spirit is that which is stronger than the progressive impetus of the physical death towards realization of that which comes, that is, if the will is concentrated enough upon the previous experience, the entity's shell of yellow ray, though no longer activated, cannot either be completely deactivated and, until the will is released, the mind-body-spirit complex is caught. This often occurs, as we see you are aware, in the case of sudden death as well as in the case of extreme concern for a thing or another self. Questioner, well then, does orange ray activation after death occur very frequently with this planet? I am raw. Quite infrequently, due to the fact that this particular manifestation is without will. Occasionally another self will so demand the form of the one passing through the physical death that some semblance of a being will remain. This is orange ray. This is rare, for normally if one entity desires another enough to call it, the entity will have the corresponding desire to be called. Thus the manifestation would be the shell of yellow ray. Questioner, what does the large percentage of the Earth's population, as they pass from the physical, activate? I am raw. This shall be the last full query of this working. The normal procedure, given an harmonious passage from yellow ray bodily manifestation, is for the mind and spirit complex to rest in the etheric or indigo body until such time as the entity begins its preparation for experience in an incarnated place which is a manifestation formed by the etheric energy molding it into activation and manifestation. This indigo body, being intelligent energy, is able to offer the newly dead, as you would term it, soul a perspective and a place from which to be the experience most recently manifested. Is there a short query we may answer at this time? Questioner, I will only ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve the contact. I am raw. The appurtenances are conscientiously measured by our spirit. You are conscientious. All is well. Observe this instrument to ensure continued building of the vital energies. It will have to work upon its own physical energies for this weakness was brought about by free will of the self. I am raw. We leave you now in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth. Therefore, rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai, and Obsession 47.